morning! So it is time to start another reading vlog. This week I'm trying to finish off the Tome Topple, uh, so I'm going to be trying to read The Golden Key uh, by Melanie Ron, Jennifer Robeson and Kate Elliott. I had read the prologue uh, at the beginning of the Tome Topple and then I took a break because of the Because We Can Readathon. Now I'm back to this, although I'm not sure I'm actually going to start this today uh, because I also need to read The Slug Queen Chronicles. I did say I would do a review by the 23rd, which is uh, Saturday, so I need to finish that. But I did look and it's actually a 450 page middle grade story. Why are these middle grades always so long? Also, reading books on Kindle you never realize how long books are unless you actually look it up. Uh, so that's close to being a tome, so maybe I'll count it for tome topple as well. I do think I'm gonna have to focus on this too. Uh, I think I'm being, again, as I often am, completely unrealistic about finishing both of these off by the end of the tome topple, which is Friday. Given that I'm still playing a lot of Animal Crossing, I do this week also need to restart my job search since now we're on a lower level of lockdown here in New Zealand. I guess I have to start looking into that. People are starting to go back to work. My bank account is getting lower and lower, so I need to start that. And just in general, I want to start running my pretend work schedule again. Um, I'm kind of cheating today and I'm doing my work schedule, but I'm including booktube stuff as part of my work. Cheating is fine, it's my rules until I actually properly go back to work. Um, as well as these two physical books that I would like to finish though, I do also have a couple of audiobooks I've just started listening to Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray, which is the third book in the Diviners series. This isn't a series that I necessarily love. It's like a paranormal murder mystery series. All these people with different supernatural abilities. It's okay, I guess, so I will be reading that. And then I also have the audiobook for The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. I don't know much about that one, except that it is also a tome. So both of those count for the tome topple as well. Uh, so ideally, I'd like to get all of these finished by Friday. Um, it seems very unlikely, but why not give it a go? Good morning. So I thought I'd better do a quick update. It's already Thursday and I've done hardly any reading this week. <sighs> but I just, I ended up having like a few uh, job leads that I'm following up on and I had to update my CV, which is something I absolutely hate doing. And that just took way longer than it needed to, even though most of what I was doing was just procrastination. And of course, I've been playing too much Animal Crossing uh, and, and doing other things, just not reading. But I have read some things. So I have listened to a bit of Before the Devil Breaks You. I think I'm actually liking it a bit more than the previous books, mainly because there's a lot less focus on Evie, who was the main character in the first one who I didn't particularly like. But now we're focusing more on like Theta, who's like this woman who has fire powers and she ran away from her abusive husband to become an actress. And we've also got Memphis, who is this black guy and so him and Theta are having this relationship and it's like a mixed race relationship which since this is set in the 20s is a bit of a drama and we're also learning a little bit about this government agency that's been investigating the diviners with all their different powers so I'm enjoying it a bit more it's still not amazing but it's kind of nice background noise like a little story on the side Anyway, I am listening to that, but I'm going very slowly. Uh, the other thing I did do on like Monday night, I read the first two chapters of, what is this called? The Slug Queen Chronicles. Uh, this, I, it's really cute, the first couple of chapters. We've got this girl who's got like synesthesia, is that what it's called? Uh, that thing where you see colors associated with your other senses. So when she sees strong smells or sounds or tastes she will see colors and she's just found out that her mother had the same problem but her mother thought it had something to do with like fairies and stuff but her father thinks that her mother was crazy um but she is now trying to catch some fairies and her i think just as i stopped reading her brother was about to get kidnapped so i am actually excited to continue this i just don't seem to be finding time but uh, today, Jason and I are going to go for a drive, since we're allowed to now. Um, we might stay the night somewhere, but it's very cold, and also a lot of the campsites are still closed, so we might not. Either way, I'm going to take my Kindle and maybe I'll read something. Probably not, because I hardly ever read anything when we go away, because um, usually we're just exploring and doing that instead. Anyway, I haven't finished packing yet. I 
thought I'd update you guys to procrastinate on doing that because if I'm good at anything, it's procrastination. Sunday. I honestly don't really know where this week went. Uh, I feel like I don't know where this year went because I'm about to film my June TBR. Crazy. Anyway, uh, I did have a good time away with Jason, enjoying the last of the sunshine because now it has started raining. But I didn't particularly get much reading done. I did try to read a little bit of the Slug Queen Chronicles while we were away, but it's felt sort of like it didn't make sense. Things were a bit disjointed and I felt like I was missing explanations and what the character was doing. Just seemed to be making leaps that I didn't understand, which given that it's a middle grade book, I made me feel kind of dumb. So this afternoon I am going to go and read again from the beginning, I think, and see whether it is just that I'm dumb or whether it's just not very well written. Uh, it could just be because I was away and trying to read it in bits and pieces and not 100% paying attention that I missed some things. I'm hoping it's that. Also this morning I have been playing a lot of Animal Crossing but at the same time I was listening to Before the Devil Breaks You, uh, the third book in the Diviners series. I have now finished that and I have to say I think this should have been the first book in the series. It's way better. The first two books were just like set up and filler and I think that could have been done a lot quicker and we could have got to the events that happen in this book which are actually interesting. I still don't know that it's more than a three star book for me. But this is definitely the best book in the series so far. Uh, I still need to read the last book which was just recently released but in this one we find out a bit more about what's going on with the previous generation of diviners, this government conspiracy that's going on. We're starting to understand the source of the diviners powers. All the different characters relationships both romantic and friendship are starting to become really interesting and a lot of the conflicts are coming into play. The characters actually feel like they're in danger in this book. It was just way better than the first two. I think the first two should just have been heavily edited into a prologue. But anyway, I'm glad that I enjoyed that better than the first two books. I have also just now started listening to Fragments of the Lost by Megan Miranda. Uh, I don't know anything about this. I think it's some kind of thriller. Kayla is reading it for her Literally Dead book club and so I picked it up on audiobook. Uh, seems interesting so far but I've only listened to like 10 minutes of it. Uh, I was just listening to it while I moved all the books from my TBR shelves into my TBR cart because I have got few enough books now that they can all fit in here. I mean it's double-sided so you can't see them all but still we're making progress on this pile. Anyway I'm gonna go and film my TBR, work out which books I'm gonna be reading in June and I will check in with you guys later tonight and I, I really will do it this time because I feel like every Sunday morning I say I'll check in with you later when I've done some more reading and then I don't but today I really will I hope because I do want to finish off a little bit more reading today. So no uh, I did not update you last night it's now midday Monday I just got busy doing other things and then by the time I'd actually done some more reading it was late, I didn't feel very coherent or presentable and so I just went to sleep. So that's a lesson I think just not to try and do late night updates because they won't happen. Anyway I did do some reading last night. I finished read about half of the Slug Queen Chronicles and I think this afternoon I'm gonna finish it and then I'll wrap up this vlog after I give you my thoughts about it. So far I think the reason why I keep not understanding things or thinking things and making weird leaps is that a lot of the world building is being done by different people telling you about things or you just having to 
figure out what's going on without really being shown it. Uh, and a lot of the details, I just think they're like random mentions, but then they turn out to be important and I've kind of forgotten about them, especially since in the beginning I was reading like a chapter and then taking a big break and then reading some more so that's why I think I got lost. Now I'm not lost but I do think that this world because it's so unique and creative and different and kind of nonsensical I think it needs a little bit more description than it's getting. Regardless I am still enjoying the story so um, I'm interested to see what will happen in the second half of the book. I'm gonna try and read this this afternoon. It shouldn't take me that long but we'll see what happens. Uh, as well this morning and last night while I was doing other bits and pieces I did manage to finish off Fragments of the Lost. Although I'm not sure how I felt about it. I think I quite enjoyed it. It's a YA thriller so those are always a little bit strange because they don't really have the darkness or the twistedness of adult thrillers or good adult thrillers. So it's kind of hard for them to actually be thrilling. But I did think it was an interesting mystery kind of revealing itself. We've got this girl whose ex-boyfriend has died and she is helping to pack up all his stuff and all these different things she's coming across are leading her to different memories of what happened to them and then she starts discovering some secrets. I do think I enjoyed it. I think if you like YA thrillers then this is probably a good one. I mean I definitely read it in a really short time so that's a good sign. Anyway I have to go and do some other stuff and try and read The Slug Queen Chronicles so Hopefully. I'll check in with you guys later. So I finally finished off the Slug Queen Chronicles on my Kindle. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Like I really thought the characters were really good. Both the main character Cricket. She was quite interesting in that she doesn't really like to be touched or hugs and I think she doesn't really understand emotions properly so that was quite interesting for a main character. Also I really enjoyed the Santas in this story although I didn't think the Tooth Fairy part was as good which given that that was in the synopsis uh, that the Tooth Fairies were now stealing babies instead of teeth. That was a part but not as big of a part as I thought it was gonna be. The world was definitely really creative. There were some really cool ideas in there but I just think overall the plot was a little bit convoluted and because of that not as well as explained as it could have been or should have been. So I feel like this is one where there was a lot of potential like with just a few improvements maybe it could have been like a four star five star but instead just a three star. Not bad, still enjoyable but not as good as I was hoping. Wow I look tired. Anyway as well I did actually manage to listen to the whole of The Vampire's Assistant uh, by Darren Shan. It's the second book in the Cirque du Freak series. So the audiobook is just five hours and I was listening to it on two times speed so I managed to fit that in listening to that while I was doing some other things. Uh, I really enjoyed it but these books are actually quite dark for middle grade books. Like we have another death. The first book someone kind of died in this one another person dies it's got vampires it's kind of quite dark and twisted but also light and fun for most of the book until the very end when it's like wow crazy stuff anyway I did enjoy it I will be continuing the series but these books are so short uh, I feel like I barely even started it and then I was finished which I actually prefer for middle grade because as I said I do think the Slug Queen Chronicles was a little bit too long and I think that's something that's kind of changed over time like I feel like older middle grade books used to be shorter and now they're getting longer and longer and I don't know why that is because I don't think it's because children's attention spans are improving because I know adults attention spans are not improving. <laughs> anyway so in the end I think if I include today even though it's Monday if I include today in the week uh, then I read four books this week. Um, I finished three of them on Monday so did I? Sure let's let's say that I did. Probably my favorite of the four was Fragments of the Lost. Probably. Anyway since I have extended this vlog an extra day I need to go and edit this up and try to get it uploaded. So I guess that was the week. Another weird week. I'm really hoping things get back to normal-ish soon. Uh, the week after next or next week because it's Monday. Basically in June all our libraries are reopening and my job search will be properly going. I kind of tried to restart it but 
uh, from putting out my feelers, a lot of people are still not hiring. So I'll just kind of slowly keep searching. But anyway, I guess that is all for now. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me this week. I hope that everything is going well with you and I will see you next time.